Hello and welcome to this video series where we're checking out some missions to the Dungeon Crawler Game Jam of 2023. And this time we will have a look at Charonwood by Downtown Hip Check. And before we check out the game, we will have a look into the description here. Welcome to Charonwood. Fight your way through the bear spirits to make your way to the end to see your butt coin up Charon again. Flip the coin in your hand for different effects to swap your coin with an enemies to take their abilities. Oh, a solo submission for Dungeon Crawler Jam 2023. To play the game, you can download the zip extract the run and run the Exe WebGL build coming soon. Well, this is a WebGL build here. Um, so I um, already downloaded the game and started it, but the issue is that it's it's a full screen window which cannot be maximized, and this basically causes uh, that OBS has problems uh, finding it. So. As I'm, as I want to record that, I'm using. I uh, could either capture the f like full screen, not not the the game, but the screen, which is always suboptimal. And uh, alternatively, I can just play it in the browser, which is the better alternative there. So I will do that. Um, for the theme of duality, the focus is uh, on the mechanic of using double-sided coins with different abilities. Mostly wanted to focus on combat design and programming for this jam. Prepared materials for the jam includes basic player movement and basic camera, camera controls. It uses Compass Pro, Equipment Pro and Expression Pro fonts by SOMPX. Death screen made using FromSoft Image Macro Editor. Uh -huh. Everything else was created during the duration of the jam. Tools used Unity Photoshop, Aspirite, Femi Tracker, and Trello. All right, cool. So the the most things you will see here are provided by the programmer. Cool. All right, let's jump into the game then. And here we are, space to talk. So we can, we we have a mouse look even without pressing any button, which is just going slightly into the directions. I'm not quite sure whether or not I like that. It feels a bit weird. Um, let's ta press space to talk. Why did I? Raise the hand. Well, anyways, space to talk. How? D yeah, the with the cursor. That's weird. Maybe I should not touch the mouse. How dear? I'm Coin Op Charon. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on the controls, if that's cool. I'm sure you know WSD's move Q E R to strafe. All right, you can look around by moving the mouse to the edge of the screen. To attack, you've got to prepare first. Press space to prep on an attack. Press space again to launch that attack. Uh, but don't worry, you'll only attack if there's something to hit. Your attack hits in a sweep of the three tiles in front of you. Okay. Any baddie on those tiles will get hit. If you don't want to attack, you can always parry. Hit R when you're prepared to parry. Ah, okay. Any enemy that hits you until the next action you do will be stunned. Mm. Uh... Now, I'm sure you're wondering about your other hand. That holds your mirror coin. That coin will activate its effect whenever you attack. The text above it tells you what it will do. Although you can see your current one is blank, after you activate your coin, it will flip to its other side and I have a whole new effect. They generally have a good side and a bad side. You will see, baddies also have coins. They'll, 
they'll activate them every so often, but they don't flip theirs. Again, some good, some bad. But if you want to try an enemy's coin out, you can swap. Hit R when the enemy is right in front of you and you're not preparing an attack to swap with them. But R was defending, right? This will also stun them. If your health is ever getting low, don't worry. Baddies heal you some when defeated. For every... Paul? For every level, you want to find my floaty sc skull friends and run right into them. Yeah, the font is a bit hard to read. Uh, and it's um, overlapped with... Uh, maybe I can... Could do this. Few... That was a lot. A uh, few, that was a lot. Sorry about that, but best to get things out of the way. Feel free to run into the one behind you when you're ready to start. Anyway, have fun out there. See you soon. Alright, and now it repeats. I have... Yeah. So, usually I think the turning and strafing is... I'm not sure, but I feel like most, most of the games use... Um, a and D to strafe. I mean, that's just something um, you can get used to, not a problem. Um, now talk, let's talk about perspective and so, so on. So you can see the, the walls left and right of you. You cannot see the floor. I've got the feeling that the tile is much smaller than it should be. Well, much smaller. It's it's smaller in a way that it's noticeable, but it's probably not a problem in this environment. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, uh, the tiles should have been a, a tiny bit wider. And I think I have the overlays here. Now, with the mouse and this tilting, it's a bit weird. But... Yeah, I can't really get out of that. So let me just have this. This is Grimrock. So you can see yeah, that how, how big the tiles are on Grimrock in comparison. And with Grimrock they are pretty much perfect. And with Lands of Lore you can see the same. The tile size is bigger. So um, yeah, my suspicion was right there. And yeah, this, I mean, you has a good reason because you, like, how you measure the distance, what you feel like it's two tiles and so on. Like, if you are standing in front of a wall like this, okay, well, you can see that this is one tile away, so that's not a, not an issue. Alright, so let's see how the, the, the combat is doing, because I'm not quite sure that I understood. We can press R to defend and space to attack. But R is also to swap the coin with the enemy. So I'm not sure how this is. I can't read that. Something spirit, three out of three. Okay, so I use R for defending. No idea. So now we got the coin from the enemy. And we can use that. Wait, no, we can't. Yeah, we are healing. Ah, uh, and we are attacking at the same time. So we are basically tossing the coin every single time. I'm not quite sure. Oh. Yeah, we are wa looking through the wall. Yeah, there's a... The walls are not aligned to the tiles, so that's an issue, but... Not a problem. 
Okay. So heal self is just that you... Is that an enemy? No, okay. Ah, okay. Interesting style here. I like it. Ah, yeah, the, the textures are not the prettiest. Um... Overall, the, like, the, um, it's a bit mushy. Uh, I mean, I mentioned that with the text before, but this as well, now in the background, I think there might have been nicer options to display that. I mean, this looks cool on the right side, but this is just a mess. <laughs> All right. Um... So I'm still not quite sure what I'm doing here. We are damaging ourselves. Let's... Okay. Apparently that's the same. And we are attacking all enemies three tiles in front of you, but... Uh, in front of us, but we can't attack anything without having an enemy in front of us, so... If there are two enemies... Huh. Now they split up. Okay, I can't... Okay, let's just... So I can already prepare the attack beforehand, right? Ah, no, I think the three tiles in front of me is like the full row, so I can actually t attack diagonally here. Okay, that's fine. Um, regarding the controls, um, it's... Well, it's rather quick. Uh, so if you press forward, there is a bit of a... I feel like there is a bit of a delay. No, I think the like the step in between, it's maybe taking a bit too long, but just slightly, it still feels okay. Okay, could be better. The uh, um, turning is executed right away, so that feels perfectly fine. But I think like moving forward, like this step there, and you also cannot hold the button. So moving forward doesn't feel perfect, but it's fine. All right, so... Can we? No, I'm not sure. Not sure if we can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if we attack multiple at the same time, we also... I mean, then we also get healed by... Oh, there's another enemy. But they all seem to have... Yeah, now they are stunned. I'm not quite sure how to to fully utilize the stun. We need to initiate the attack before we can stun. So Yeah, and I cannot... Maybe if I have this damage self by one, I need to, to swap. It's a bit bit weird. Let me let me um, explain or what, what I'm doing now. So right now I've got nothing active, right? If I press R, nothing is happening. Even if the enemy is in front of us, if I press 
are I am actually taking the enemy's coin. Yeah, I'm swapping the coin every time. Okay. If I press space, I think I'm preparing for an attack. Now if I press R at that time, I'm not swapping, but instead I'm like defending. And if I press R again, I'm then swapping my coin again. So now I need to press space, but then nothing happens. So once the enemy is like starting an attack, I should probably press R. But I lost hit points even though... And I think we got an invincible enemy now because it got negative hit points. Now that was probably not how it was supposed to be. Alright, maybe we can just run away. Mm, yeah, okay. Well, that didn't work, but that was also broken now. Now this is damage self. Damage self is not good. So we should re... Let's sidestep now. Parry. Parry. Heal self. I'm not still not quite sure. Mm -hmm. So it's attacking. Now I'm parrying. No, no, I, I swapped. Heal self. It didn't seem like it was attacking, but apparently it was. Now I've got damage self. Um, let's just try and get away from that one. So there is a different enemy now. Let's prepare. This enemy has the f the um, the description below it. So we are holding our hand. Now I'm defending. Now I'm swapping the coin. Now I'm attacking. And I lost, but it wasn't attacking. I, di I don't quite see how... Is the when is the enemy attacking? Like, now it's looking like it's attacking. But if I press defend, it's fine. Now it does not look like it's attacking. It still doesn't look like it's attacking. Now we have damage self. Prepare. Now we need to... I'm defending now. Okay, we swap the coin again. Now I attack. The enemy was not attacking and I still took one damage. Hmm. Add armor. Okay, swap. Damage self, yield self. Defense. 
Mhm. Mm Swap. Attack. Defense. Swap. Attack. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the, the mechanic is a bit weird. And I think it's not super helpful to have basically the different um, different functions on the R key, even if that's it's not. Um, and they're just running in circles. Even if the like you can only ever trigger one of them. How do you go to see you again? You did great out there, but color me impressed. Hope you're having a good time out there. Tried my best making those words a woods when I heard you were coming. Anyways, there's one more forest waiting out there for you. But if you want another tip for old time's sake. Different colored baddies tend to have different coins. Try and nap them and see what they do. Also don't tell anyone I said this, but you can flip your coin whenever you want with F. Although some consider that cheating. Mm, well, uh, that about does it for me, sorry. Our time here is so short. Hop on through my skull friend behind here to Scatter Duddle on outer here. Okay. So that's really cheating then. So let's try not to do that. So now we need to heal self. Defend. Mm hmm. Yeah, the music was made for the jam, but it's really repetitive. And the it's not even the repetitiveness. Mm. Yeah, there is the, the break when you can clearly hear the, that the loop is starting over. And there's a gap and this is irritating. Um, Alright. Oh, it didn't work. We need to, yeah, heal self, block, swap, okay. Is this a special tile? Probably not. Damage self. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Okay. Okay, I mean, basically, you just defend or swap whenever there's something which is not nice, like harming yourself. Or, like, yeah, now 
attack, attack, damage, swap, heal, and done. Repair, attack, swap, heal, attack, attack. Swap, attack, defend because it was attacking, attack, swap, attack. Mm -hmm. Defense, attack, attack, swap. Now yeah, we damaged, it's fine. And there's the fin, the goal. We didn't see a whole lot of different enemy types though, but yeah, I guess that's fine. Ah yeah, thanks for playing the game. I hope you liked it. The jam was a lot of fun. I'll probably update this with new enemies and levels and stuff. After some rests, at least though. If you want to follow me, I'm uh, Kurukura on Twitter. Down to, uh, let me read that. Down to, downtown hip check. Okay, on Tumblr. Though I mostly post drawings every blue moon. Let me know what you think of the game. Hope you have a great day. Also, if you made it to the end, leave a comment saying ale to let me know you beat it. All right. So, um. Yeah, uh, the the a minor thing here is the um, uh, the tile size, as I showed before. It could be a little bit bigger, but it, I don't see that as big of a problem, it, at least in this game environment now. Um, the controls were like, as I mentioned, the movement is fine, and overall it doesn't feel terrible. But I think the like moving forward, there is this. Um, the stop in between is too harsh and maybe you should also be able to queue up moving forward it feels a bit weird the moving forward part in this game um but it's uh it's fine overall now regarding the um, yeah and the graph the graphics i think the textures are nice but they are kind of applied in a weird way so, I mean, in this, let's just kill that dude now. Um, let's see what happens if we go there. Ah, okay, nothing. I think it's not that apparent over here, but if you go to, to this, then, yeah, I mean, this is not pixel art, this is just pixel mud. <laughs> uh, this is probably like this texture. I mean, you can see that this is also not correctly applied to there. I think the texture itself is nice, but this is just stretched to... Yeah, it's like in the build engine when you have like a texture and just stretch it to, to eternity. So, um, yeah, overall, I mean, the, the graphics, the, like, yeah, the, the art which was put into the game is, I think, nice. Well, the enemies, they are pretty basic, but yeah, it's nice. But the way they are applied um, leaves something to desire, I guess. Um, regarding the sound, yeah, also very basic, but I mean, I appreciate that it was made for the jam and it's not just some like assets used but yeah just to to mention the like the music um would have been nicer for what it is <laughs> if there wasn't this like stumbling in every loop this feels a bit odd and regarding the combat mechanic i am not too sure i think once you understood or I'm, I'm not even sure if I understood how it works, but I 
kind of understood on how to not you lose anymore. And I'm not, I don't think that it's super interesting. You're essentially... Now we are damage. We are just clicking stuff away most of the time. Damage, heal self, heal self, and we are full again. I am not sure if, if it even works as intended. So, yeah, I'm not, not very convinced um, regarding how the, the combat works. So we defend, we heal and attack at the same time. Now we switch, defend, heal. But it doesn't feel like I could even, I could lose the battle. Heal, defend, heal. And I'm full again. Maybe that's also because the enemies heal that much. Let's just kill them all here. Swap, here, here, swap, here, S defend, here, swap, at armor, attack, attack, swap, attack, attack, swap, at armor, swap, here, here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not con convinced that this is um, like. There's much to it. I mean, it's, it's uh, definitely better than just clicking on the enemies until they are dead. But I think like the like w maybe what you are, what is intended to have as tactical depth from that is not really that present. It basically boils down to. Well, obviously clicking one of two buttons, but I don't think that there is much thinking involved. It's just an automatic process in some way. So, yeah, I'm not too convinced by the combat. Um, regarding the duality with the coin throw, that's kind of a nice idea. And also that you can steal the coins from the enemies. So maybe um, there is a better way to flash that all out. Also, I think it might have been a better... Um, maybe a better idea to put that on, like, separate the actions more. Like, defending and swapping the coin is on the same key, and I think that's more confusing than it's actually helping. And maybe the, the mechanic can be, like, evolved a bit. Yeah, not, not sure about that. In any case, that was Charonwood, uh, and if you're watching this video now, there might already be an updated version, and maybe even with more levels, as the developer mentioned. So we, you will find uh, that in the video description uh, to itch.io, and if that's just linking to the main page, you can check for Charonwood. And the game was by Downtown Hip Check. Um, was a nice entry to this jam and with uh, if you want to see more entries uh, more videos of entries you will also find a playlist with all the videos I did so far and you can sub subs can subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any new videos I do thank you for watching and I hope to see you again next time bye bye